This is Project Aria. Now these glasses are a precursor to working AR. It doesn't display any information inside the lens, it's not for sale, and it's not a prototype. It's a research device that will help us understand how to build the software and hardware necessary for real, working AR glasses. Starting in September, some specially trained Facebook employees and contractors will be wearing the glasses in real-world conditions, indoors and outdoors. Their sensor platform will capture video and audio, eye tracking and location data, all to help us answer some of the questions that we need to ask before we release AR glasses to the general public. The first question is about hardware. <laughs> what do we put on the glasses? I mean, think of all the things necessary for AR to work. Outward sensors that can interpret the world, inward sensors that can track your eye movements and know where to show you information, and computers to process just all of that. And then, assuming you could fit everything you need into a pair of glasses, how would they perform under different light conditions or different weather conditions? Which sensors can you do without? And where might you need more? These are questions we can't answer in the lab. So like all good science, we have to put our theories to the test. Another question we have is about data. I mean, there's a lot of data sets about the world from the point of view of satellites or, or even automobiles, but there aren't a lot of what's called egocentric data sets. How do we program software that understands what the world looks like from a first person point of view? And more to the point, how do we balance what data we need to collect and process in the first place? At OC6, I introduced live maps, our effort at creating a shared virtual maps that are drawn from crowdsourced information, basically a 3D spatial internet. If we can design glasses that can both build and use live maps, we can deliver an AR experience that requires as little data as possible. Michael Abrash will share more later about the technical aspects being worked on in the lab, but before moving on, I'd like to show you guys a video we produced with the research team that introduces Project Aria. Aria is a comprehensive sensor platform that you wear like a pair of glasses and is used for research purposes. At the beginning of Aria, we actually evaluated many form factors. The hat, the bracelet, but we settled on the glasses because it could give us the closest human perspective. If you really want a system that is socially aware in a sense, it perceives the space like people do, you've got to look at the world from a human point of view. This allows us to start to teach devices to see, hear, and contextualize and making sense of the situation so that they could better help humans in the future. Imagine you lose your keys, and now you have a device that's able to tell you, hey, you left your keys on the coffee table. Or the ability to take your human senses and feel as if you are somewhere else in the world. When we think about navigation, it's not just the turn-by-turn -turn direction that you're getting from your phone, but it's really navigate you to anything. Navigation also will unlock amazing possibilities in public safety and accessibility. Project ARIA is about figuring out the right privacy and safety and policy model long before we bring AR glasses to the world. We anonymize all the data, which means we blur faces and license plates. Starting in September, a few hundred Facebook workers will be wearing ARIA on campuses and in public spaces to help us collect data to uncover the underlying technical and ethical questions and start to look at answers to those. Where do we go from here? Well, we learn. The project is really going to be a series of iterations, right? It's going to develop over time, a bit like, you know, the internet. We're incredibly excited about the opportunity that Project Aria and the future of augmented reality brings. We're going to do this together, and it's going to be amazing. Now, as the video mentioned, in addition to the technical complexities we're navigating with Project Aria, we've also been working to answer some questions about how and when the glasses should be used. New technology often has unintended consequences and negative externalities, and our job is to get ahead of ours. AR glasses will be cool, but they shouldn't be rose-tinted. In order to wear the research glasses, people will undergo training on when and where they can gather data. 
Sensitive places like restrooms or prayer rooms are obviously off limits. Before data we collect in public is used for research, the data is quarantined and faces and license plates are blurred. Like a mapping car, all participants will be easily identifiable by their clothing. You can find more details about Project ARIA online, and we'll continue to use the lessons we gather to inform how we build and launch AR in the future.